Okay, so logs and natural logs. Um, the process is very similar. Uh, natural log, the invisible base is E. So when you take uh, the derivative of a log, it's 1 over that inside right there. I'll call that the G. The outer is the F. So 1 over G times the natural log of the base. Well, the base is E. And then times all of that times the derivative of the G. So it's 1 over the G function, this thing right here, times the ln of E. And that whole thing is being multiplied by the derivative of G. So let's do this here. So I would need to write that more plainly. So this in here is your G function. So it's 1 over the G function times ln of E, but ln of E is 1, so that cancels, times the derivative of 2x cubed, which is 6x squared. So we have 6x squared over 2x cubed. Huh, now look at what, well, 6 over 2 leaves 3, and this x squared and this x cubed, that cancels, and 3 subtract 2 is 1. So this becomes 3 over x. So dy dx of this original function and pretty soon you're going to notice a pattern so these become very very simple all right so now you've got this outer and then you've got this inner so dy dx equals 1 over well, this right here, this entire thing, that's the G. So it's 1 over the G. Times ln of the base. The base is E, and that cancels. Times the derivative of this. Well, the derivative of this is 1 over the inside function times the ln of e, times the derivative of 2x cubed, which is 3x squared. So now we have, in the numerator, 1 times 1 times 3x squared is 3x squared. In the denominator, we have a 2x cubed, And let's see what else we have. The ln of e's cancel. It's ln of 2x cubed. And then this x cubed and that, this x squared over x cubed. I knew this was not looking right because these things were canceling. Well, look at what I did up here. When I multiplied the derivative of 2x cubed, it would be 6x squared. And then the 6 and the 2, the 2 cancels like that. So what we have is this. Because this x squared over this x cubed, that goes away, that cancels to 1, and this 6 over 2 simplifies to 3 in the numerator. So the final simplification is 3 over x times ln 
of 2x cubed. Just like that. All right. Now we're going to go to the logs. It's going to be a very similar process, although now this is your base. And here is your g. So dy over dx is 1 over the g function. Now you're going to say times the log of base 3. Those do not cancel each other out. Now multiply it, and I'll try not to mess this up. The, the derivative of 3x to the fourth would be 12x cubed. 12 divided by 3 is 4. x cubed over x to the fourth leaves an x. And I don't know if you've noticed each time, but look at this power. So let's come up here. So it started off as 2x cubed, and it's 3 over x. It started being 2x cubed, and it ended up with being 3 over x. All right, one last one. So it's this thing and then this thing. So kind of like a double chain. So it's 1 over log base 5 x cubed times the log of the base. Now we've got to do the derivative of this thing right here. So it's 1 over x cubed times the log base 5 times the derivative of x cubed, which is 3, uh, yeah, 3x squared. So let's see what we end up with. We have a 3x squared over an x cubed. That's going to cancel, and that'll cancel to 1. And then in the denominator, we have log base 5x cubed, and then we have uh, log, log 5. squared. So when it all simplifies, it's 3 over x times the log base 5 x cubed times log 5 squared. All right, so those are some examples. Um, there's probably trickier examples. But for just a very basic calc class, it gives you an idea. All right, that's it.